Good morning everyone. Today we are very happy to present to you one of our health nuggets. The health nugget I want to look at today is one of the herbs that everybody has encountered sometime or the other. This herb is ginger. Ginger is a, a herb that is in every home all over the world. Ginger can be used internally it promotes the cleansing of the system and thorough um, also the system through perspiration. So um, when taken hot, when you take this ginger hot, the tea is good. It's good to suppress menstru menstruation and scanty urine. It brings heat into the system and stimulates digestion. Taken in frequent dosage, it will raise body temperature. It is without a peer among herbs. Any other kind of motion sickness, you can use ginger. If you're traveling by boat or even by aircraft, you could take a glass of ginger tea or something. It helps with, with those um, conditions, morning sickness and all of that. It is helpful for reducing flatulent colic and when taken with laxative herbs. It makes their effect milder Except of a cold. It can ease the effects of the usual symptoms. It is for contagious diseases, also for stomach spasms, and as I said, for morning sickness, and a strong antioxidant and germ killer for sores and wounds. So, um, Externally, the ginger is used as a fermentation in cases of mums. For those people with the swelling on their ears, with the mums, ginger can use externally. So, we can use ginger in every little thing, teas and all of that that we make, because also it helps to do a transportation. It transports whatever you use to, to all parts of your body. For example, if you're using a herb and you add a little ginger to it, it will help to transport that herb to your body. So that's the little nugget for today. Thank you.